Thanks, guys. This is a Fox News alert on a new showdown in Wisconsin that is starting to get national attention. Some small business owners are now accusing big labor of using bully tactics to drum up support. And some of those mom and pop stores are beginning to fight back. Welcome to America Live on a busy Friday. I'm Megan Kelly. Over the last 48 hours, a growing number of small town Wisconsin residents complaining about strong arm tactics, that's their term, from some of the state's powerful unions. Small town businesses told to hang this sign saying we support workers' rights in their store windows or else suffer boycotts by organized labor. It is not okay, according to the labor union, for the businesses to remain neutral. It all stems from Wisconsin's epic battle over limiting union power as a way to rein in state budgets. Greg Jarrett has the new developments at our New York City breaking news desk. Greg. Megan, extortion, threats, retribution. Now, these are the words ascribed to a union campaign to strong arm store owners into supporting public workers. This is the town of Union Grove and businesses there got a letter from a local union leader demanding their support or else incur the wrath of union workers who would as punishment deliberately try to harm their livelihoods and put them out of business in other words forget your right to dissent or disagree well those stores were asked to display this poster which reads this business supports workers rights even if those owners did not and those who refused well they were given this letter which reads quote it is unfortunate that you have chosen not to support public workers' rights in Wisconsin. The letter then goes on to trash Republican lawmakers for altering the collective bargaining practices of public workers. And then at the end of the letter, there's this, quote, We'd ask that you reconsider taking a sign and stance to support public employees in this community. Failure to do so will leave us no choice but do a public boycott of your business and sorry neutral means no to those who are union members it was signed by jim parrott field representative for the american federation of state county and municipal employees don bobo the owner of village dollar store there she is she got that threatening letter and she just wants to remain neutral so she created her own sign which she holds there we support union grove not bully tactics well, 45 minutes ago, I spoke with Dawn on the telephone. She's a 54-year-old grandmother, an absolute delight, who started her own business from scratch, and she said she will not be bullied by anybody. And, in fact, she telephoned Jim Parrott to tell him so. She, he didn't pick up. She left a message saying, quote, I don't know who you are. Why are you targeting my business? I won't be threatened. Well, she hasn't heard back from Parrot, no surprise, but his union threat may have actually backfired because Don tells me she has done a week's business in just a day. People from everywhere, hours away, have driven to her store to buy things to show her, uh, her their support. And as for Parrot, well, I called him at two different numbers. No answer at both, and both voice mailboxes were full. No kidding. Megan, he has an open invitation to come on this show and explain what's behind uh, these tactics and I'm, try to justify them. I mean, I'm, he's not going to do it. I'm guessing. He, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why Don told me she spoke to a senator there. She also notified a sheriff. But the senator said, hey, threatening to interfere or hurt somebody's livelihood may well be a crime. And it's interesting.